from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA. With the expansion of most most checks announced last Friday, and we'll go over the most incredible 2023 stimulus checks for you. These are stimulus checks A to B, C to E, L to Q, and the expansion of a new stimulus check. Wow. The latest details of today's reporting, but some corporate earnings not particularly as deliciousness. Lyft missing on revenue and also on earnings per share. The stock is now 30% most of the day. Expedia falling dramatically. And then crypto under fire after those comments from one of the hands of one of the major exchanges. What is this and what is crypto stocking? Well, the latest details in today's recording. But massive stimulus checks for you, and these are SSI, SSDI, SSA veterans, and the expansion of a stimulus check a week ago today. Incredible news and what you need to know heats up to this broadcast. We'll go over stimulus checks A to C first, then we'll go over that membership newsletter, have you become a member after stimulus check C, then we'll go to the expansion of stimulus check E, from T to K, and then L to Q. These are stimulus checks for you, SSI, stimulus checks for you, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income across the board. We'll go over which checks pay the most, which pay the most fascinating details, and then we'll go over the line charts of what's happening with this economy. A lot of breaking details across the board as one of the topics that heated up yesterday is the crypto stocking in the US. What is that? Why is that on fire? We saw last week and earlier this week when Uber delivered impressive numbers, but Lyft not so much. The stock was down 30% today. What happened? And Travel Leisure always was on fire, but not today with Expedia, down 2%. Missing on revenue, missing on earnings per share of the lazy to the promise the board. Plus, we'll be jumping to some of the live charts, and we'll be looking at the data as the markets have just closed minutes ago. It's a brand new broadcast taped just shortly, 15 minutes after the markets have ended for a brand new week. And the brand new details, brand new stimulus across the board. We'll go over all this and more your stimulus, your economy, your Wall Street, and your crypto in today's afternoon broadcast starting right now, 1 35 p.m. to end a brand new week. It all is on afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having a beautiful day. The markets have just closed. It's 1.36 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The market just closed about 15 minutes ago. Exciting day. Expansion of stimulus check E. Stimulus checks A to C heat up this broadcast from the President of the United States. Then we'll look at that membership newsletter after stimulus check C. Then we'll go to the expansion of a brand new stimulus check. And we'll go to L to Q and also preview those other stimulus checks tonight in prime time, including that wonderful 2023 stimulus check that is over half a million dollars. These incredible stimulus checks are in the membership newsletter. After we do stimulus check C, we'll look at that membership newsletter together and we'll go over how this works across the board. Let's jump right into that stimulus news right now. These stimulus checks for 2023 are law. We'll go over stimulus checks A to C from President Joe Biden. Then after stimulus check C, we'll take a break and look at that membership newsletter. Have you become a member? I'll show you how to do this and how to get these huge checks in that membership newsletter. Then we'll go to stimulus checks E to K that were expanded by Joe Biden last Friday, then L to Q. And then the big second half is Crypto Wall Street Live and a preview of tonight's primetime broadcast of LA Light. Let's jump in those first three checks. Stimulus checks A, B, and C. All the checks we're going over this channel in this broadcast are for you, same eligibility. Let's go over that eligibility one last time. These are for you, SSI, for you, SSDI, for you, SSA, for you, veterans, for you, low income, if you made less than 75,000 last year, 150,000 across the board. As I go through each of these stimulus checks for 2023, which are law for Americans in US states and US territories, I'll highlight which check has a great feature that is unique to it. Let's jump into it right now. Stimulus checks A to C were passed by the President of the United States, and they're wonderful. And stimulus check A, B, and C are huge. A is a $6,500 to $12,000 stimulus check law for you, SSI, SSDI, veterans, low income. B, however, is the stimulus check that pays the most months of checks. 
And that is why B is so popular. 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board. It is a check for rent and also for homeowners, for both renters and homeowners. It's absolutely wonderful. Become a member, go right on that membership newsletter and get that beautiful stimulus check B. We're going over that membership newsletter in just a second after stimulus check C. Now let's continue to stimulus check C, which has been on this channel for nearly two years, but it was expanded by the Biden administration and it's really wonderful. Again, it is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And how much money can you get? Let's look at some of those numbers and let's go over how you do this. Step one, subscribe. Step two, join the channel. Step three, go into that membership newsletter. And at that membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places for rent. $30,000 is what viewers are getting. And on average, they're getting 18 months of rent. Now, Let's turn to utilities. How many utility bills do you have per month? You have the water, the heating oil, the electric, the gas, the telephone. Get them all paid because that's what viewers of this channel are doing. And they've gone from 7000 to nearly 15000 Over 18 months, five bills per month. Incredible. Combinations checks. Niece is 23000 She went to 50000 Marcus are 32000 He went to fifty, then to one hundred. And then to 166,000. And here's a little range. She was at 105. She went to 155,000. That's not the ceiling because Dragon has gone even higher. She's gotten 170,000 as a triple member to all three channels. You're watching LA1, but there's also LA2 and LA3. We'll go over those other two channels in just a second. Still, Check C is in the membership newsletter and it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. 12 different places for that incredible stimulus Check C. So, so far we've done A, B, and C, passed by Joe Biden last year for Americans in U.S. state and U.S. territories. These are for SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. Now let's look at that incredible membership newsletter. How do I get all these incredible stimulus checks for 2023, which are law, in the membership newsletter? Let's go over that membership newsletter right now. That membership newsletter is incredible. And where is it? It's at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of every video. Let's look at that location right now. There it is. It's news.la.com forward slash newsletter. You apply for the incredible stimulus in the newsletter. News.la.com forward slash newsletter. Again, the location of that website is at the top of the chat, the pinned comment, and the description of every video on all three LA channels, one, two, and three. Go into this video, become a member right now, and then grab the password for the most recent post on your channel. It'll say current password, it's updated daily, and put that password in there and you're ready to rock and roll. Go in and get A, B with those 18 months, and then do C. Next up is E to K. Go get E to K, and E was expanded by the Biden administration a week ago today. Stimulus check E was expanded by the Biden administration, giving more money and more eligibility across the board. It's $7,500, but now it's even a little bit more. A lot more, I should say. Stimulus check F, $4,000 stimulus check. Love it. E to K, of course, are those great checks from Congress. G, 30% off. H, $2,000 stimulus check. I, $8,000. J, $8,000. And K, a $14,000 stimulus check. The way that logs work, laws work, is that once they're passed, they remain law, so long as they're still funded. And these are law, and these are all stimulus checks for you. After K came other checks that were passed and I found them for you. And those are L and M. Let's go over those beautiful stimulus checks right now. L is $100,000 on average of loan interest free money. M, a beautiful $4,000 stimulus check. N, everyone loves N. This is the one with the free computer, tablet, laptop. N, like Nancy. Brand new computer, tablet, free laptop, and free internet. Pays to become a member. Look at all the money available for you and great items. Stimulus check O, zero down payment, zero closing costs on a brand new mortgage. P, a 3% refi, and $8,000 is stimulus check Q. Those are your stimulus checks for 2023. Again, law passed for Americans in U.S. state and U.S. territories, all for you. Same eligibility. SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income, go get them. Step one, go into this video, become a member. Step two, go into that membership newsletter and start grabbing those incredible stimuluses. The longest pain of the stimulus items is B, 18 months, five checks per month, $3,000 across the board, and is the great computer and tablet. We have home repairs. We have home appliances, incredible items. It's from stimulus checks A to Q. 
go get them across the board. In tonight's primetime broadcast, we'll go over more about the other stimulus in that membership newsletter, including a half million dollar stimulus. That's tonight's primetime broadcast on L81 and L82. We'll also be going over unemployment stimulus and PBT checks in tonight's primetime broadcast as well. And if you're watching L8, what are you watching? Well, there's, if there's, you're watching one of the three broadcasting channels in this incredible family of networks. L8 One launched it all. And every night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time is a primetime broadcast. L8 Live at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Don't miss it. It's on this channel. One hour earlier at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, nightly, is Crypto Wall Street Live, the show that's captivating the nation, the fastest growing crypto show in prime time. It's at 4 o'clock and it's on channel 3, LA3. And then on channel 2, LA2, at 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, every night is Stimulus Live, just about your stimulus. Again, the night starts every night at 4 o'clock with Crypto Wall Street Live, channel 3, 5 o'clock, this channel, LA1's primetime show, and then 6 o'clock on Channel 2 with Stimulus Live. In the big second half, we're going to look at what's going on in the markets today. We'll have a preview of tonight's evening's broadcast. And what was it? Well, it started with the excitement and the confusion yesterday with this graphic. Crypto rumors that they're trying to get rid of crypto stalking in the United States for retail consumers. Is that all crypto? No, it's not. It's crypto stalking. And I'll explain to you, staking, I'll explain to you what that refers to and why it put crypto under pressure yesterday and whether crypto rebounded based upon the news at all. Here's a preview of what's coming up big second half, big second half of Crypto Wall Street Live on Afternoon's LA. Bit down 3% right at the moment, Ethereum down 1%, and Decentraland down 2%. They were under pressure dramatically, but they came back a little bit this morning. This is where it gets more interesting in the big second half. Rideshare company Lyft fell 30% today on a massive revenue miss. And then... Expedia Travel and Leisure down also dramatically on its particular miss. We'll go over the latest details of what happened to this market and why it got very fascinating. Let me tell you where we are right now at the close of the market. Uh, we are going to end with the Dow up 169. This changed since I went on air. The Dow will end up 169 for the day. The Nasdaq will end down 71 for the day. The Nasdaq will post its worst week since December even though it had a relatively good series of weekdays in there with that major movement with Meta early in the week across the board. It's a big broadcast, and the big second half is just getting started. I'm going to be back with you in 60 seconds as we'll be looking at more of what's going on with this economy and also have some guidance that came in from some Fed governors. Really exciting. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Afternoon's LA continues in prime time right now on a beautiful February 2023. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. Good afternoon. It's February 10th, and the market has just closed. And where are we ending right now? Well, the Dow end 
up 169 for the day, about 0.5%. And the NASDAQ will end down 71, about a drop of 0.61%. But it will be the worst week for the NASDAQ since December, although it doesn't feel that way. I'll go to the latest details across the board. We'll be jumping into the latest details on crypto and also some corporate earnings. Lyft needs a lift, and Expedia needs to take a trip. <laughs> Look at these numbers. Plus, we'll go to the latest details of what heated up yesterday. Let's jump right into that right now. This came in yesterday. Quote, rumors that they may get rid of crypto stocking in the U.S. for retail consumers. What is that? All the latest details across the board. We're going to start with what's on with the market for the day across the board. The market tried to find some footing today and was a little bit <laughs> uneasy left and right. Uh, the S&P was relatively flat for most of the day. Um, it really came on the heels of that quote from yesterday. Who's that quote from? It's yesterday for Thursday from Coinbase's CEO, Brian Armstrong, who said the rumors that the SEC would likely get rid of crypto stocking in the U.S. for retail consumers is growing. Is that getting rid of crypto? No. Get rid of crypto stocking. What is, or staking. I keep on saying stocking, staking. What is crypto staking? It means that you're holding a position and they're giving you interest on the position let me go over that quote again there is a there is a financial item called crypto stock staking where some platforms will look at you and say you own ten thousand dollars of bitcoin i'll give you a return on your deposit investment just like a bank you have money in our bank we'll give you a return i'll give you eight percent i'll give you four percent it's called crypto crypto staking and the percentages have been very high, almost suspiciously too high. And the comments from Brian C from CEO Brian Armstrong yesterday may have confused some people. He said rumors that the SEC would get rid of crypto staking in the U.S. for cons retail consumers caused some people to think that, you, that the SEC is getting rid of crypto. No, crypto staking, which is getting a money market-like return on your deposit. So let's say you have $10,000 of Decentraland at a particular exchange, and they say, we'll give you 8% per month or 8% annualized on that deposit. That's what crypto staking is. It's not the entire industry of crypto staking. The day featured Christopher Waller and Fed President Patrick Harker from Philadelphia talking about the US economy, and they said exactly what you expected them to say. But what was really more fascinating was this, Lyft, really? Uber looked really good over the last month. It looked really good yesterday. And we thought another ride share would come in relatively decent. Not the case. Lyft, the competitor to Uber, missed dramatically. Revenue came in at 97, 975 million versus a 1.09 billion. What a miss that is. The stock was down 30% on the news. My goodness. Then we also had some downgrades today. And we also said some other surprises. Expedia down 2% on a revenue miss and an earnings per share miss as well. Bank America downgraded Deutsche Bank. And then consumer confidence improved in February, but they thought inflation was still a little bit up. Do I agree? I'll have them my comments tonight on Evenings LA. Aluminum is falling to lows not seen in over a month. And oil prices are rising amidst more output cut across the board. Meantime, Brett Crude is now moving to about $86 a barrel, and shares of PayPal slipped during the company's quarterly earnings report. Wow. What is the major story we're looking at tonight on Evening's LA? We're looking at the confusion that was caused by this quote by Brian Armstrong. It made some people to think that the U.S. economy would no longer have crypto. No, no, no. It's crypto staking. Again, it's the position you have. They want to give you a money market return 8%. It's not getting rid of crypto. We're also going to look at why Expedia, when we thought travel and leisure was on fire, is down. We're going to look at why Lyft is down when Uber seemed to be so impressive in recent days and wasn't at all, all across the board today. Let's look at some live charts, and I don't want to surprise you, but here we go. Oh, my goodness. There's a live chart right now, one-day chart. And let's look and see what has happened in one, one day. We went on air this morning at uh, Morning's LA. It was a brand new show this morning. I hope you saw it. It was about 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We started the day at 21,800. We were under our Bitcoin support level. And we tested it. And then we tested it again. And then right as Afternoon's LA was airing, taped earlier in the day, we broke underneath it. And where are we doing right now? We're starting to free fall. 
Where are we right now? We are 21. I don't even know if I can get my mouse on the chart. That's me in the chart. 21,500. Are we breaking under a support level on Bitcoin right now? Obviously. That's your one week chart. Let's look at the, let's look at the one month chart. Okay, so now this is getting very dicey, folks. This is a live chart. You're watching this right now on a Friday at 1.53 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You see the time in the right lower right of the screen. Wow. So where's our support level? Look all the way to the left. Look all the way to the left. Here we are. I'm in the, I'm in the chart. I'm in the chart. I'm rolling my mouse. Rolling my mouse. 20,700. Draw a line across. We need to hold that support line. If we don't, we break under a three-month support level. How more clear is it? Let's go out even further. There you go. And then what could happen after that? I don't want to say it, but you know what I'm going to say. All the way from 20,000 all the way down to 18,000. You don't want to break under that support level because you could fall all the way back to 18,000. Very, very troubling across the board. I had no stocking coins for you today because the coins were not doing that. They were not delivering those type of numbers today at all. So that's why I didn't have any stocking coins, but this is where we started the day and this is much where we're ending the day. Ethereum down 1%, Decentraland down 2%, and BIT relatively down 3%. What's important to understand is that these numbers that came in today from these corporate earnings are showing us that the economy is holding up, but you got to be careful. Lyft down 30% with a really big miss. I mean, this is a huge miss. Travel and leisure, we always used to laugh it straight up, and it's down. In tonight's primetime broadcast, I'll also be going over something else, which is the real sort of excitement we're dealing with right tonight, which is the pullback of inflation. We thought over the last year that this inflation was really not going to settle down. And finally, it really just started to improve. And that inflation at issue is manifesting itself in those numbers from the supermarkets. Suddenly, it's getting cheaper to buy groceries and that cheaper groceries is manifesting themselves very quickly in a very short period of time. In tonight's primetime broadcast, we'll be going over that. Plus, I'll be answering questions from Anne, who asked, can you go over artificial intelligence, which is heating up ChatGPT and Microsoft, and certainly heating up over Google. I'll go over the financial implications of artificial intelligence, whether it's new or old, and I'll also be going over whether it's something that you should consider exposure to in your portfolio. Here's a preview. If you want it, then buy some Microsoft. I'll have more about that tonight in primetime broadcast. Again, massive stimulus checks for Americans, 2023, SSI, SSDI, SSA, veterans, low income. Go get them. Tonight, three shows. In primetime, we have the 4 o'clock Crypto Wall Street Live, brand new on Channel 3. At 5 o'clock is Elite Live on this channel. Then, at 6 o'clock, Stimulus Live on Channel 2. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you tonight on all three live shows. And as always, stay up LA for more.